Newport History Society has been going for just over 30 years. The field walking side has been going for at least the last 10 years. We mostly go out on a Sunday morning uh, to, to do detecting on farmers' fields and that we have permission on. The majority of the finds that we find on these days are normally Victorian coins, Georgian coins. If we're very lucky and we have a good day, we can come up with some nice hammered coins. We get the land mostly by emailing the farmers and asking them if we have permission to go on to their land. But we also have farmers who come into the Guild Hall and ask us specifically if we can go and have a look at their fields because they found something on it and they want to know what the history of the field is. We do build a, a very good timeline up of what sort of occupation has been on this land and what people have lived there right back from the Bronze Age straight through into the Roman Age, the medieval and up to modern day. When we finish doing all the research on the fields that we can do, we can then send them a, a report of a complete timeline of their farm and what the occupation was over the years that they've owned it and before. One of my best finds was a Bronze Age axe, which is dated to 2500 BC, in very, very good condition. But it was only between 500 and 1000 yards from where we now know that there's a very high status Roman villa. On this land we found enameled Roman brooch. That uh, There's only another one or maybe two of these, and these would have been dated around about the 1st or the 2nd century. Two of our field members came across a really, really unusual and very rare find, which is a Knight Templar's pommel. If you look at the pommel itself, the detail on it is really, really fine. And the enamelling, which distinguishes the Knight Templar's shield, is really good. We know there's only probably only two of these in existence. The other one is in the British Museum. The members who found the pommel from the Knight's Templar also found a very interesting find which is a bucket mount which is dated from around about the 13th 14th century medieval maybe even back to rome and it's it's still under investigation most of the detectives who go out on the field will actually turn their machines on and set them to not actually detect iron uh, for obvious reasons because of tractor parts and things like that but on the occasion that uh, if, it's a, if it's rather a large lump you will get a signal from it one of our members dug about two foot down and found what looked like just a big lump of iron and when it actually came and you could see what it was it actually turned out to be a 17th century axe which was in very good condition and was very well worth keeping just like Time Team, we also go out and do test bits. We've been out into a house where we did a test bit. For the first two to three inches, we came across some Victorian items, and we then continued down to at least a metre deep. When we got down to that depth, we came across medieval and Roman pottery, which just goes to show that even in the middle of a modern town, that the Romans were here and they were in occupation. As we are a history society and not a detecting club, Every find that we find on the fields from the, the Sunday digs that we go on are handed into the History Society so everything can be verified and checked and the farmers can have a full time scale of what's on their land. And everything that is found is put on display in the Guild Hall in Newport. If you'd like to come along on a Saturday, you will find members of the History Society who are there who are willing to show you what's in the cabinets and explain anything that you'd like to know. What we do really is for and on behalf of the people of Newport.